All right, guys, so I'm gonna transfer WhatsApp from this Android phone to the iPhone on the right. The Android phone is a Galaxy S21 FE. It's already got WhatsApp, it's got conversations, photos, files, and videos. And we're gonna try and transfer all of this to this iPhone, which does not even have WhatsApp right now. And so if I show you my list of apps on the iPhone, there is no WhatsApp here. I also recommend to you that if you have WhatsApp on your iPhone or whatever target device, completely erase it, remove all conversations, just uninstall it if required. Now, one very important thing for you guys to know is that WhatsApp does not natively support moving your WhatsApp chats from Android to iPhone. And you could probably get into very technical, complicated procedures to do it yourself. But in this video, I'm gonna show you the simplest way of doing it. The software we'll use is called Mobile Trans, and it can do a lot more than just transfer WhatsApp stuff, but I'll show that to you when we install the app. Now the installation is very easy. The download file is very lightweight. So you do that and you click on install and it takes just like a minute to install itself and that's it. You click on start now and you'll see everything that it can do. So there's WhatsApp transfer, this phone transfer so you can you know carry over stuff from one phone to the other or just create backups on your computer, periodic backups, which you can then restore onto a phone. But what we're interested in is WhatsApp transfer. Now to use this, you're gonna have to have the software licensed and you'll get this license information after you've purchased the license on the site. Again, all links in the description that you can follow. Now, once you're done, you click on WhatsApp transfer and now it'll show that you need to connect your phones. The first device that I'll connect is my source device, which already has WhatsApp. And as soon as I do that, it tells me to turn on USB debugging mode. It's got all the steps here, which you can simply follow. It's pretty simple. Go into your about phone settings, then go into software information, Tap on build number seven times and you'll unlock developer options. Then go back, click on developer options and then look for USB debugging and just turn that on. That's it. It's completely safe. Don't worry about it. And now just click on allow on your phone and then you'll see that it shows Galaxy S21 FE connected. Now go ahead and connect your destination phone, which is the iPhone in this case. And as soon as you do that, you'll see iPhone pop on the right. It's going to ask you to, you know, make it a trust agent, which you can just allow by putting in your pin. And that's it. Then click on OK and you're all set. OK, you can select everything that you want to transfer. Click on start. And after it runs a verification check, it's going to ask you whether you want to keep existing WhatsApp data on iPhone. Just say no, because as I said, you've already wiped everything on iPhone if you did follow my recommendation. So click on no and just go ahead and click on next. That's it. It's going to say, hey, there's no WhatsApp on iPhone, which is true. So I'm going to go to the App Store and install WhatsApp on my iPhone. And now that installation is done, I'll go back to the app and I'll just say retry. And now you see the process has started and it's going to say, go ahead and unlock your Android phone, it probably got locked. So I'm just gonna do that and then click on next. Now this part is important. Your Android phone is going to go through a series of steps automatically, okay? You don't have to do anything, let it happen. And it's going to install a fresh copy of an older version of WhatsApp. And it's important for this entire process. And now your phone is going to ask you to log in again on WhatsApp using your phone number on your Android phone itself. Do that, don't be confused, it's all right. Just use the same phone number and put it again in your Android phone's WhatsApp, in your source phone's WhatsApp. Let it log in, let it find the backup and click on restore. All of this was important because only earlier versions of WhatsApp support this process of mobile trans. Anyway, once you hit OK, the process will just continue and then it will ask you to open up WhatsApp on iPhone and put in your phone number over there and verify that number. So you do exactly that. Use the same phone number so that there's no conflict at all. And yeah, enter the one time password that you get, whatever the code is, and that's it. It's going to then start looking for backup on your iPhone through iCloud, but it's not going to find any because it never was there. So you go back to your software and it's going to ask you to do one last thing, which is to turn off, find my phone. Uh, it's just a security measure. So don't worry about it. Uh, go back to your iPhone, go into settings and go into find my iPhone and turn this off. It's going to ask you for your Apple ID password, put that in and that's it. Turn it off. Go ahead and click on retry. And that's it, guys. It is all done. And while it may look overwhelming, it really is that simple in my opinion. All right, so your iPhone is going to start up on its own. It's just gonna boot up and go ahead, unlock your phone, 
and just hope that this worked wonderfully well. I'm pretty confident it would. So there's WhatsApp and I click on it and it's gonna say, yeah, sure, you know, get access to my contacts although not all contacts would be there. So it's still looking for a restoration from iCloud. I'm just gonna skip restore. I'm gonna put in my name and there you go, guys. All my conversations are right there. And let me open up a conversation and see if my photos and documents came through. They did. All of that is right there. It's amazing. I mean, it was really that simple. Nothing is lost. All the screenshots, photos, videos, documents, everything right there. That's amazing. You know, quite frankly, I've reviewed quite a few apps in the past that show how to move WhatsApp from Android to iPhone. And this is the simplest one so far. It may seem overwhelming at first, but if you follow every step to the T, which by the way, I have shown in this video, so just follow that. Make sure you've got the right cables and make sure you've got the ports available to keep both the phones connected at the same time. This is really the simplest way of doing it. All right, so as I said, all links in the description, so make sure you follow through. And if you guys have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys. And if this video was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.